I'm the sculptor for the new Pat Quinn statue and bench, and uh, I also did the Roger Nielsen one as well. I like Pat Quinn in his fir first year the Canucks were here, and a friend of mine was from Edmonton, and he had played for Edmonton Oil Kings, and this fellow had a try with him, but didn't, you know, didn't make the grade. But he was a Pat Quinn fan through and through, and he, when Canucks were we were putting Canucks together, he's just, oh, I hope he, they get Pat Quinn, he's the greatest, and and so I was an instant fan, you know, I came well primed to be a Pat Quinn fan. You've got to get uh, an idea of what kind of look you want, whether it's a happy smile or, or a frown or, or whatever, you've got to get the, the right look. With Quinn, it was, to me, it was, it was the stature and the smile, you know, or, or the frown, either one, he, he was pretty good at either. But, uh, but his stature, just the, the physical size of him and, and the, he, the way he carried himself was very straight. And, and he was the kind of guy that if you walked into any room, I'm sure you would, everything would stop for a minute, you know. And uh, apparently it did. If I don't get this right, I mean, the general fans will say, it, oh, it looks like him or oh, it doesn't look like him or whatever. But his, his friends will... If, if I don't get the little nuances right, they, they will curse me forever. <laughs> so so it's, uh, it's, it's intimidating, it's fun, um, but when you combine what you do, you know, passion for, for the work I do with the, uh, um, I guess, a typical Canadian hero worship of hockey players, you know, you throw those together and it's a big deal.